Yeo Ling Mei Yun's only son was the innocent victim of a murder because of a case of mistaken identity. The mother was so bereaved and filled with hate that she showed up at the trial armed with a kitchen knife and poison in hopes that she could take the killer's life along with her own. Thankfully, with the unfailing support of many mediating volunteers, Mei Yun has slowly overcome her grief and even learned to extend the hand of forgiveness to the mother of her son's killer. This is Mother Yo's backyard chicken coop. Raising chickens is a new hobby for Mrs. Yo, and their good health her hard won success. Amen. Inside her home, Mama Yo is busy preserving kumquats. Again, she was never taught this. Inspired, Mama Yo set out to learn and has slowly perfected the skill. When I started making this, many times by the second day, I have to dump the whole thing because I didn't do it right. I paid a lot to learn in the beginning. With no one to teach her and insisting on no preservatives, he added. Mother Yo's sugar plums have a special taste all their own. With no shop, they are sold through her name and neighbors. Mrs. Yo is modest, saying that it is only because she needed some way to feed herself that she ever took up the craft. With her husband who died of liver cancer in 1989, and her only son brutally murdered a year later. Their murderer was a barely 15-year-old youth. He killed her son with a knife. On that day, Mother Yo's life changed forever. I bought three dolls. One I sat down there, the other I slept with, the last I put in the kitchen, so wherever I went, I could see him. These were my son's clothes. I used to dress him up. I went on like this for many years. Mother Yo used the dolls as a means of resurrecting her memories of her son. Yet at the same time, there was another burden. The boy's murder was sentenced to nine years in prison and she knew the other mother suffered mightily. She would call, Mrs. Young would call all the time, but she wouldn't say anything. She'd just cry. I thought about it and figured if that had been my son, I'd do the same thing, because I wouldn't know what to say. One mother to another, Mrs. Yo understood. It was Mrs. Yo who was the victim, but now she has accepted a new role, helping that other mother. Using phone calls and letters, she developed a relationship with her son's murderer. This one is really special. It's a fake cake, but you can see it is so sincere. At this point, Mei Yun's smile is radiant. When I held him, in that moment I could feel my son had returned. He was the same age group as my son, so I tend to think, if it had been my son who had done this, I would hope people could forgive him. So maybe this has let me be more willing to forgive. Moreover, back then, in my heart, I had really indulged my hate and was really suffering a lot. Slowly, we've met people who have, one step after another, led her out of her despair, helped her out of it so she could accept things. Otherwise, she'd still be sitting there, silent. She'd sit right there. Now you can see her smile, and she can joke around. <laughs> after such a long time of hating, forgiveness has brought Mei Yun unimagined relief. He told me, Mother Yo, I am sorry. It wasn't something I thought through. I told him, your reasons are now all past. Set them aside. You must listen to your teachers. Learn not to do wrong to control your impulses. The strong and impetuous young man was at last released from prison. Now he is in university. Mother Yo, in her pain, has learned a way to accept this young man as a substitute son. Her hope is that he may stop worrying over the past and now dedicate his life to her son's memory. Meanwhile, Mother Yo continues to develop her crafts which she sells on a new internet website created by the government prosecutor's office with some of the criminal fines it collects. Mother Yo is looking forward to a new life of contentment, forgiveness, peace and loving. If she can, so may we all.